All right, guys. I think I'm finally finished with my upgrades on this printer. If I don't find something interesting. And in this video, I'm going to show you the bed insulation material that I uh, that I did. Uh, as well as I print new set of bearing, which I'll show you in a second. I get finally my uh, SD extension cable. As well, the case is now done. And I get some flex filament, which I'll show you in a second how you can very easy print with this setup now. All right, some uh, thoughts about the bed insulation material. Uh, this is actually uh, a special uh, cotton that uh, can stay in a much more temperature that actually this bed can provide. Uh, I put uh, two sheets under it and I use some some glue to attach. Very easy to make. Of course you can put some silicone glue as well. That can work even better. But so far I didn't have no problem with this. This is, uh, this is stuck pre pretty neat under it. So um, what this uh, upgrade give you? That give you a faster um, heat up time, especially if you print ABS, which require that this bed, you know, go higher than usual with a PLA. PLA. So uh, definitely you can get some, gain, uh, gain some time there. From 20% till, till uh, 35% around you can get it. So definitely recommend to do. In previous video, I show you uh, this, uh, this um, hotbed adjust that I did. And now I'm gonna show you how do you, how they look um, my new bearing setup, both in uh, extruder as well under the bed. One second. All right, guys. I hope you can see this. This is the setup that I'm using right now, and I'm very satisfied with it. Thanks to the one YouTube comment that made me to rethinking about this uh, these bearings. This is some awesome setup that you can do. Thanks. And then as well underneath the bed, I'm using this type of bearings. Very nice. For uh, lubrication, I just use some cheap tin oil, just a little bit of it. So you just one drop here, one drop there. Use your finger a little bit down, and it's very nice to do. So almost no noise. I'm pretty satisfied with it. And so far, I don't have any problem. Everything is awesomely stable and uh, it's still very very fast so I'm definitely recommend thanks again for the YouTube comment that made me this rethink about this uh, this bearing system keep in mind though that you have to uh, re-drill those bearings I mean this one setup that I did under the bed look like this so keep uh, keep in mind that you have to drill this through uh, with 8 millimeter uh, drill to make this uh, run smooth because it will stuck at the beginning as well you have to uh, use uh, sandpaper to just uh, done this side as well if you want to use this use this uh, type of bearing of course same thing on the other side that I use on other type as well you have to drill it through and a little bit around it to make it nice and stuck and of course use some tin cheap oil that I get with my uh, hair cutting machine <laughs> runs pretty good all right this side is finally finished as well that I get my essential cable and now it's pretty neat and easy to access the SD card which I love to use so why did I use this card when I'm using the uh, Cura uh, the latest version I'm using with this card because so far I didn't figure out how I can connect the get Cura to register and find uh, this printer on the latest version but if you're still using the old version then of course you don't need this as well but it's good option to have I did this test and I'm very satisfied with the result as you can see this looks pretty neat 
the settings it's almost the same only the speed that you need to rethink I mean look at it this is like pretty nice so look at this oh, it just pop up and it's there I get it on Aliexpress I will put the link in the description I think this is the cheapest that I got and it took it took me around less than less than three minutes to figure out how this will work honestly I just look at it here and then I say okay what's the problem and I saw a lot of filament that was going on this side up and down and I say okay only thing we need I just cut small pieces of this uh, TFT um, tube and just I put it inside easy to do take this screw out press here and just make it your way I believe it's less than one centimeter here so now there is no space to this filament goes uh, on other direction it has to go here of course if you put uh, speed too much it will still go out so I try to keep this low because flex filament I don't use that much often I just uh, uh, order this because I make a couple of parts for my e-bikes So that was the parts that I did with this one. This nut cover and this here as well. And this side. It's pretty neat. And of course this side as well. It's pretty nice. And the reason why did I made these uh, caps? It's because of this. This was original caps. It's pretty cheapy and it's very bad. So made this. So this will never get never come come off because this goes around there inside awesome all right guys that's it for today i hope you like uh, the video that i did if you like it thumbs up and subscribe i'm gonna try to keep it more so far this is uh, almost complete upgrades that i really want to do on this printer if i find something more interesting i will let you know um i'm gonna soon uh, starting to do some reviews of a couple of products that I like and as well I'm gonna start a um, channel about some uh, two e-bikes that I made those are very very nice e-bikes you're gonna like it so uh, take care guys I wish you best luck with breathing and bye bye